So, uh, what's up? We're, uh, part of Fairway Drive, as you see. And, uh, we got some acoustics for you. And we're gonna talk about us as a band, not as individuals, because everyone's not here. Actually, what is James doing right now? James, James, I'm pretty sure he's, uh, finishing his DVD, Sweat, Tears on the Dance Floor. Um, what is this something he's out to dinner with? With Fabio, I, th Fabio. I think he's out to dinner with Fabio right now. No. We're totally not sure about that, um, but yeah. And uh, Tim is actually working right now. He's actually delivering pizzas for us. He's coming right now with pizzas. Um, yeah. So, you have anything to say? Nope. This song is called Flowers From Me. Comes through the door, her mother yells down the hall. She skips quite quickly, and there he is. He was just supposed to only deliver them, instead, he gave them to her as a present of her beauty. And she was happy for once. A news broadcast is airing about a girl whose name spilt on the floor. 
And we're just shy of a tragic ending But trust me, there's no happy So, uh, two fat guys. A little about the beginnings of Fairway Drive. Pretty much it all started. Billy. Three fat guys. That's me. Handed some MXPX CDs to his brother, Tim, the bassist, back in like fourth grade or something. And me and Tim have been in school since like kindergarten, well, together in school since like kindergarten. And we were on like a fifth grade field trip up to Washington, D.C. And we're on the bus and we're like, yo, Tim, let's swap some CDs. I didn't say CDs, did I? <laughs> you said like C levels, C levels. <laughs> Dude, it's good. Just go. Just, yeah. keep, just keep doing it. Keep doing it. What do you mean? I'll just restart. No, just keep. We're still rolling. And and <laughs> <laughs> someone just shot me in the so, head. So so he hands me this MXPX. He's like Ryan. I don't know if you're gonna like this. It's punk rock. And I was punk like, rock. Punk that's rock. what I said. And then I started listening, and by the time we got to us, I was like, we ain't got no place to go, so let's go do the punk rock show. You know, the rest aren't taken by hand, we're going to see a punk rock band. There's a few shows, the radio rose, going to take with us, going to play real loud, loud. And then, so we go through this, we go through middle school, we meet Tim and James. Well, me and Tim, we meet James. We have French class together in, like, Oui, oui. Oui, oui, yes, yes. Un, deux, trois. <laughs> and we have a couple other classes together, and we become pretty, pretty good friends. So, Dave here, we're fr Dave has a friend, and that friend has a little brother who's friends with us, as in me, Tim, and James. Naturally. So, so, this, so my friend was coming over to my house one day, and I was like, yo, bring some CDs over for me to burn. You know, I need some new stuff to listen to. So he brings over a bunch of CDs, and it's all like, Old Hidden Plain View, Saves no the Day, room, Saves the Day. <laughs> And uh, I saw I burn them, started listening to them, and it turns out, like, those CDs Dave gave to his friend, who my friend stole from his brother, to his friend. And then I listened to it. So, so all the music that we listened to, Dave and Billy pretty much got me, Tim, and James in there, for the most part. Had a big impression of it. So ironic. Very ironic. It's pretty ironic. sweet. It'd be a very ironic, because it turned out better. So, what's the song we're doing? Uh, yeah, the next song, it's a new song, actually. It's called Arbor de Moi. It's called Arbor de Moi. Have fun.